Hi everyone welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy my videos please subscribe and leave a like. Let's get into the story now. So, let's fast forward. When William was 23 and Jane was 25, they married. They also have a son together. They met on a hiking trip, and everything went smoothly. Jane was a good woman and a slick talker. My wife is battling breast cancer, and she was there to support her. Jane was to my wife like an elder sister. But it's been almost a year since William made a complaint about her. Jane is too possessive of her phone and appears to be frigid, according to him. He told me that they hadn't had sex in over six months. And every time he attempts to start intimacy with her, she says no. She arrived home at 4 a.m. on their wedding anniversary. I knew there were a lot of red flags, so I warned him that she was definitely seeing someone. He claimed that he had suspected it for a long time. He, on the other hand, refused to believe that possibility. As a result, it continued. She became an infrequent visitor to my wife, for example. I informed my wife about his dilemma, and she promised to help me figure it out in a stealthy way. Following the covert conversation with my wife, She's seeing a guy, my wife said, but they're platonic and he's a terrific technician. My wife and I both understood where this was headed. I'm sure Jane wouldn't do that, William responded when I informed him about the issue. She wouldn't do such a thing if she was my girl. I advised him to employ a private investigator. At the very least, we'll be okay. As a result, he engaged a private investigator. However, he was unable to uncover any suspicious activity. He came up with a shot after three months, and that was all. She was photographed holding hands with a man as he walked out of a movie theater. So he called me and said he needed to speak with me. He appeared to be a complete disaster. As if he were a man who had lost everything. What have I done wrong, he said with a grin. I had a feeling he was suicidal. So my friend and I went to a pub and drank our way to the bottom. And he burst out laughing, she wasn't the first person who sprang to mind. She hasn't done any housework in over three months and is solely concerned with our son. Before and after bed, she only gives me a kiss on the forehead. She claims to be fatigued or in need of some space. What am I supposed to do? I had a feeling he was bankrupt. I informed him he wasn't alone and encouraged him to develop a strong intellect. Our circle of friends, as well as a large number of other men, rallied behind him. He eventually realized that she wasn't worth it. As a result, he stepped outside of marriage and began a relationship with a lady he met at work. We work for the same firm but in separate divisions. They were both digital artists. As a result, Will met Helena. He was much older than she was. I'm going to enjoy my life, he remarked as he presented her to me. She resembled a model or a spy figure from a video game. They had multiple hookups and appeared to be in a relationship. He was content and unconcerned about Jane. When Jane watched him being joyful and felt that he was aloof, things took a turn. So she addressed me, asking if I was seeing anybody and how he was doing. However, I lied. As a result, she disclosed to her husband over Christmas that she had been having an affair for over a year. That she understands how valuable their marriage is, and how incredible Will is. Will blinked away his emotions and inquired about the facts. She stated that it was an error and that it is all ended and that we can be together again. He told her that their relationship was finished and that he needed a divorce, and he requested her to leave. So she went to her mother's house and spent the entire day phoning and texting. Will had created a second account and moved his cash into it at this period, as well as opened new accounts with numerous different institutions. 
They took money out of the joint account and retained half of it for her. She sobbed and pleaded with him not to divorce her. Will had moved on at that point. Jane also attempted suicide. She also informed Will that she would do anything for him. And she couldn't imagine her life without him. And she'll go to any length. Will didn't even bother to pay her a visit to the hospital. She went to his house after the discharge and told him everything. He says he needs more information and urges her to begin speaking. There is no second chance and nothing if she lies. As a result, she informed him that he was a local mechanic. And she was lonely, and she yearned for the carefree days of her youth. So it begins with her car breaking down and her meeting with him. They exchanged phone numbers. It became sexual after a month. The romance was a heated and sensual affair. He was curious about her whereabouts on their son's birthday and their wedding anniversary. She stated that she was with him. When he contacted her for their son's birthday, she was having sex and told him she was late because she was busy at work. She also went on a ride with AP on their anniversary and had many sex sessions that day. She even got him a place to live. Will was heartbroken when he heard it and began calling her names from A to Z. She apologizes and says she'll think about our baby so we can be his papa and mama again. He said that meeting her was a mistake and that he is tired of her. He considers her to be dead meat. She clutches his legs and begs him not to abandon her. They'll do anything, and AP means nothing to them. AP is a 27-year-old man who cheated on Jane and made her feel stupid the week before Christmas. Will was aware that she was emotionally linked to AP and me. Will returned her after much pleading and counseling, not because he loved her, but because he didn't have a choice. Adultery is a fault in divorce in our nation. But you'll need hard proof to do so. You've been FKED if you can't prove it. To succeed in court against her, you'll need concrete evidence. Will, on the other hand, lacked substantial evidence. He was always preoccupied with Helena. He, on the other hand, had different ideas. He established guidelines. She didn't have an option but to accept it. Her responsibilities include cleaning the house and doing the laundry. She needs to do everything he says or she'll be kicked out. He should be ready for sex anytime he wants it and should do whatever activities he requests. He should have access to her email, phone, and account information, as well as her password. He became distant from her. He pushes her out of the room after sex and tells her that this is his bed and that she may sleep in the guest bed. And he is notorious for arriving late at home. He addresses her by her first name and screams and curses her for her blunders. She soon learned about Helena and confronted him, who informed her that the doors were open and that she may leave at any time. Jane frequently pays a visit to my wife and seeks advice on how to salvage her marriage. She offers suggestions and recommendations. My wife was heartbroken about her. Jane informed my wife that she is frequently rejected and that Will does not allow her to sleep in the same bed with her. She dressed up and went to him one day, but he mocked her and ordered her to grow up. She's a shambles now. Even sympathy for her comes to mind. Will frequently tells his girlfriend that his wife is an old cow who isn't very good. When she discovers that Will is going on a business trip with Helena, things get much worse. Will informed her he wasn't her after it crushed her. And now they're simply buddies. But I knew where they were. We were also expected to bring our wives to the workplace celebration. Jane was excited about this, but Will turned her down and told her that they needed to sort things out, so he became single. And I'd been with Helena the whole time. Helena was understanding, and the two of them are starting to feel in a relationship. They go through the motions of a relationship. 
Will informed Helena that when his kid turned 18, he would leave Jane. He also said it to me. He treats her like a piece of garbage. He does not inflict bodily harm on anyone. But what about mentally? He'd remark Mr. Mechanic would do that if she didn't clear the table. And if she doesn't do anything in the bedroom, he brings up her adultery and blames her, saying it's all her fault. I'm not sure how this will finish. He stayed, I believe, because of his son. He is unconcerned about his financial situation. But now he's ruthless with Jane. This is how things have been going. Jane seeks comfort from my wife. Because of the occurrences that occurred over a two-year period, this is a lengthy report. I hope they both find happiness. Thank you for watching.